Discourage soul ignites negativity. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. Discouraging means that our courage is taken away, which can happen when the source of courage is misplaced. When I am discouraged, I often ask myself, where is my hope? I never fail to recognize that I have placed my hope in another person or depending on circumstances, people can fail or disappoint. Circumstances can change unfavorably. However, we know one thing cannot fail. It is our God in heaven. He never fails. He was the same yesterday. He is the same today and he will be the same forever. I believe during the times of my discouragement, my soul is thirsty for God. That is the right time when we need to reconnect with the source of our true, unfailing hope and courage. We must seek the presence of our Lord. We must engage ourselves studying the word, praying, praising, worshiping, singing, spiritual songs, and serving others for the God's glory. We find the beautiful imagery in Psalm 42, where we find the son of Korah who knew how important it is to seek God's face continually and put their trust in the only true hope their ancestors had experienced, the hope they have today and in the future. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us, so we can go into the temple, into our innermost being, to meet with the Spirit of God right where we are. We have confidence that when we hunger and thirst after righteousness we are filled the sons of Korah knew that the source of encouragement hope in God when we remember that our hope is in God not a person or circumstance it steadies our soul and makes us brighter in Psalm 42 they speak of remembering the Lord his presence his power his loving kindness and the song he has placed in our hearts although we sometimes may feel that the Lord has forgotten us we are completely wrong He hasn't. Scripture records that the Lord has his people engraved on his palms. So we are with him permanently. During times of discouragement, we always remember where our help comes from. Our help comes from the Lord who made heaven, earth, and us. So let's start our day fasting from discouragement thoughts and cancel the negativity inside of us knowing that our God is more powerful than our circumstances today or risk we foresee in the future. Let's have faith that no matter what will happen, as long as we abide in his words, we will receive our victory over all our thoughts and all our hurdles will be removed by him. This message also gives a promise to today. The promise is, See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hand. Your walls are ever before me. Let's call this time prayer together. Please join in this prayer. Dear Lord, Holy Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you for your faithful promises to strengthen, establish, and protect me, even when my faith falters and might prove faithlessness and false to you. Keep me mindful of this truth and guide me in the choices I must make today. Use me as an instrument of your grace and keep me from all evil so that I may grow in the grace and knowledge of you and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that in this season I may wait to see you resurrected in me and I'll be able to transform all my negativity into the blessings I received as the promises in your holy word so I may live life to bring glory to your holy name. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day and if God's going to talk to you tomorrow.